Hey everyone, if you have rare US and world coins you want to sell, watch this video till the end and I'll show you where you can post them for sale. This is highly elusive wartime US coin, 1942D Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark, the famous D over D variety, graded as MS66 plus full steps by PCGS. This is a finest certified example of this important repunched mint mark variety, not only is it the highest graded, but its eye appeal is spectacular. Sharply struck devices show a full separation of the steps on Monticello, and the D over D feature is crisp and bold, visible to the naked eye. A brilliant nickel-silver luster blooms with a stunning vibrance on both sides, accenting the amazing gold, blue and apricot rose color. Even under the careful inspection with a strong glance, there are no singularly distracting ticks or marks. Needless to say, this is an impressive and important early day Jefferson nickel with bold visual allure. Sold for $14,100 at Legend Rare Coin Auctions. Here is 1955D Washington Quarter in MS67 condition. This exquisite superb gem exhibits sweeping crescents of vivid multicolor toning around the periphery that yield to off center swirls of pinkish silver tinting in and around the centers sharply struck and expertly preserved, and easily the most desirable example of the issue. It was sold for $13,200 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1910S Lincoln Sand in MS67 red condition, blazing mint luster in Jalfsey's superb gem red 1910S Lincoln Sand, producing vibrant yellow gold and peach orange hues across unabraded and carbon-free surfaces. The strike is bold throughout, adding to the incredible visual appeal. The 1910S is a well-known better date, being an early San Francisco issue. However, its rarity in MS67 red is often underappreciated. It was sold for $9,000 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1901 Morgan Silver Dollar in MS63 condition. Rare choice mint state. This is a common enough date in circulated grades, but for reasons unknown, this issue did not survive in any large quantity. In uncirculated grades, the obverse and reverse are bright and satiny with ample luster to please the eye and a whisper of light gold toning near the rims. The strike is average with good separation on Liberty's curls over her ear and the eagle's breast is reasonably well defined. Scattered scuffs and nicks as expected, but easily qualifies for the choice grade level. Sold for $9,400 at Stax Powers Auction. This is 1969D Kennedy of Dollar in MS67 Plus condition, vividly toned pinnacle. Those building a color set of Kennedy Alps can add a capstone to the collection with a plus graded 1969D, which is imbued with fiery rainbow colors on both sides. Struck with silver content, the uh, 1969D is an important as a final Kennedy half issues earmarked for commercial circulation with that alloy. This sharply struck plus graded example is tied for the finest certified with just four other coins at PCGS. It was bargained for $6,600 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1947S dime in mean state 68 with full bands. Cobalt blue patination dominates both sides of this S mint dime, yielding to silver in the center of reverse. The photo of this coin is accurate, it is really that blue. The design elements are sharply struck, including full separation of the reverse bands. An immaculate preserved specimen, as expected from the grade. It was sold for $5,287.50 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, like, share, subscribe and comment. See you in the next episode.